Hey guys, just wanted to give a quick update on the uh, um, automatic uh, cover, I guess if you will, project. Uh, I've got it mounted on the 132. It is working really, really slick. So I really like this design. It's turned out really good. I basically thought I was done. Again, I'm just using the ESP32 board there. Um, that thing is, is dynamite. I've got all the Wi-Fi and everything working with it. Um, I did pick up a 6-volt power supply from Amazon today. I think it was... Uh, seven dollars and that's more than enough current for the board and uh, and the servo and everything so that's working good thought I was done until uh, Technolite sent me the EL light boards and I got these these things are awesome um, all the commercial light boards that you see um, for ridiculous amount of money are just using these it's all the exact same technology there's I forget what the, the material is in between here there's a chemical in between here there is a a band around the outside that um, I believe charges it and then it illuminates the whole field is how it works. Uh, these converters are a little spendy, they're just 12 volts, but they output um, uh, 120 at like, this one says 450 hertz. Um, and this one is completely dimmable, which is really, really nice. Um, this isn't even going to pick it up, but if it was dark, you can go from really dim to relatively bright um, so the idea and I know this is a bit caveman style but I'm literally just gonna throw a, a crappy servo I'm gonna 3d print a little board uh, for that to sit in and uh, the servo will just hook on there since I can control the servo exactly then I can exactly control where I want the, uh, the light position with. so since we've got the SP and lots of extra ports anywhere you know who cares uh, print another board and spend 15 bucks and get a new servo or another servo. So anyway, that's actually the plan um, for the layout, what I think is gonna be really nice. Um, so again, these come in, uh, that's a five inch um, uh, diameter, is that right? Uh, six inch, sorry, six inch diameter. Uh, it's 130 millimeters, 129 millimeters, um, basically to the inside of that brown part there. The inside of this, uh, I want to say, was 100 and, um, 136 millimeters is the inside of that, 140 is the outside of that. Uh, so basically, rather than just having the two pieces, I kept the two pieces, but I just added a cover to this. Um, again, I'll throw all this on Thingiverse, and what's nice about this is this is the standard size, so this won't change. Um, these light panels are, again, 22 bucks, so you throw in your light panel, um, and there you go, you got your cover, and then this piece will be exactly the same, and just the inner side diameter is all that's going to change. So I can upload this at you know, 80 millimeters, uh, 100 millimeters, 120, whatever, and it's all going to stay exactly the same. This essentially goes on, and then to sort of smooth everything out uh, from Amazon, they make this uh, white plastic um, clear stuff that I think everybody's using for flats, flat boards anyway. Uh, it turned out that the 100% opaque stuff that was six millimeters thick works really well. Um, clearly, I haven't pulled off the um, the uh, cover just because I, I cut this on the bandsaw and just want to protect it until it's all ready to go. But that'll sit in there. This will then, it actually snaps right into place into here. That's a little bit, uh, outside diameter is a little bit um, higher and then that'll sit flush against there. And then that will again uh, mount with our base right there. Uh, there were a couple little changes. Actually, this is gonna go over here simply because uh, what I did for the wires is put a little wire uh, attachment so we can put a zip tie there and then also zip tie it to here and here so it'll come out exactly at the center point of the, uh, the shaft rotation. And then on the base here, I actually put a little post um, that'll come out right there and the wire will come over and we can attach it to there. So that way literally the wire should sit right here and rotate as the cover opens and closes, but there shouldn't be any, any chance of anything getting caught or cable snags or anything like that. Um, so that's where it's at. Um, again, I'll post this once I get it finished. It is getting there, uh, but um, man, these light boards I think are gonna be great. And even though you gotta buy the, the power supply, I still think for under 100 bucks, you can essentially build yourself an automated cover and a really, really good one. So, very good. Clear skies.